Hello and welcome to another uh, video tutorial on Effect House template. So in this template, I'm going to talk about the Blur template. To find this template, go to the template tab and in the screen, you can find a Blur template. Click on it and wait for the template to open. Cool. Now this template, what does it do? So this template does teach you how to use Blur in the Effect House. So we know that Effect House already have a template, uh, already have a Blur uh, component and object, but this one, if you want to apply it in the word space, or if you want to like have a UI that is blurring the screen, which is super efficient, uh, you can use this template. So. The how to customize the player. Let's look at the how to customize the player. So the first thing first is you locate the player material and there are some customization on the right side. So you can see, say like how much player do you want it to be applied to the user? So I'm gonna go a lot of player. And then the second option is uh, if you want the blur to be darkened or brightened, you you've seen this on the uh, like the UI that some of the app has that has a blur and also add uh, like add more exposure to it to uh, differentiate it from the background. So I'm gonna keep it on the a darker color. And then another option, the cool option this one has is you can uh, mask the shape that you have. Like for example, you can make it circle. You can make it uh, square or play around with these value and also you can just like cut it uh, in half so you can say like i want to cut it in half and only you show like right side on my the user face or left side and yeah you can see how uh cool and customizable it is so another thing this one is a, like uh for like more advanced control but you can say like how much blur that you wanted to have like that it what it does in the background is create couple LOD for the our render image that we have here and apply it to the blur so you can see if I reduce uh, if I have like more you can see uh, like I'm gonna try to find a face that it's not moving that much yeah you can see it in here the list that LOD that we have is that the quality of the uh, blur is completely different so based on your need try to play around with this value and come up with the value that works for your uh the thing that you're working cool now that we know uh this uh you can see this one is it has an example that is attached to the face but what if you i want to have a ui uh that uses blur so there are a couple of things that you can do save and use this material somewhere else or what i can do like for example to show you uh you can for example import a screen image and drag and drop the blur in here and now you can see we have the blur on the screen it's not connected to the user so i'm gonna put the mask like that and i'm gonna have it like for example a little bit rounded to make it live more like a ui kind of style and then i'm gonna shrink it and have it here so as an example you have a game that you're working on so this can be a ui like an on-screen ui for that so you can have the text there and for example you can say welcome to my experience and have your UI there. So you can see now how easy it is to have the UI that, uh, but it's not connected to user, have the UI, cool looking UI, and this is super uh, uh, efficient that you can use anywhere else. So one more thing that I wanna mention about this, the way that this is working is by another camera, uh, that it's rendering in here. So this is like a little bit for more advanced user if they wanted to know about it. So we have a, like a camera in here that it's rendering the camera and whatever that camera renders will apply to this blur texture. So we get the information from the camera, put it in that texture 
and then we use this texture with this material to apply this blur look so uh, this is the way that it working uh, this blur is working so make sure if you use the material make sure to for in your uh, project to use the blur render camera as well cool yeah uh, that's all. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this template. Thank you.